All right, guys, welcome to episode 31 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me. We're yep. back with another episode, man. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us. Everybody that subscribed, liked, all that good shit. You know how the fuck we, we rock, man. We're back with some more content with you guys. You know what I mean? Thanks. Yeah, I'm back with some more fucking loud, too, bro. Got some fucking gas. Yeah, yeah, we rolling up. You know how the fuck we rocking, man. Bro, I'm um, lighting up right now. You know, a lot of people have been smoking a lot more <laughs> than usual. You know what I mean? I think everybody understands where I'm coming from. There's nothing else to do, bro. Yeah. There's nothing else to do, man. Real shit. Ain't bro. nothing else to do but just sit, sit around, you know what I'm saying, smoke some fucking good weed, drink a few brews, and chill with one or two friends. Yeah, <laughs> maybe three. Yeah, facts. But you know what? I guess this is just the time just to fucking get for mental health, you know? Just yeah, take it out. for yourself, man. Yeah. A lot of people, honestly, uh, I hope a lot of people take this time to do that. You're right, John, like. A lot of people were working day to day. They felt like they didn't have no break. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least take this time for that, if anything else. Yeah. Take it as a break. Take it as a mental break. You know what I mean? You might you might be struggling with bills, but just remember that pretty much everybody else around the nation is, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Real shit. For real, for real. It is what it is. Um, all we could do is just stay positive. You know yeah, I mean? just stay positive. That's Don't it. dwell in it, man. Because it's going to come and go. It'll come and go. Yeah, I feel like it'll come and go. Um, I also feel like like, the summer's just canceled. Yeah, facts. We like, were talking about that earlier, yeah, man. So summer canceled. Summer is canceled, guys. You heard it here first at Dope Talk TV. Whoop, Real whoop, talk. It's over. It's over. No more. No more fucking summer, bro. That is. Real shit. No more summer. People don't want to accept it. They're talking about, oh, I can't wait till the summer comes. Yeah. Bro, they're talking about till August. Nah, nah, I can't do that, man. I can't do that. I mean, you got no choice. Well, Y'all <laughs> can't stop me. Nah, it can stop me real quick, man. <laughs> <laughs> real fucking Gotta quick. get fucking shot or tased or put me in a cage somewhere. Probably, bro. This ain't the time to, to be get arrested. in a fucking jail. You'd be pissed. Yeah, for real. Uh, you catch coronavirus even quicker than that motherfucker. Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> nah, I heard it's dirty in there. Nah, for real, for real. That's crazy. But talking about that bullshit, bro. Honestly, guys, we don't want to be talking about this bullshit because it's just not us. Like we don't give, a, like we don't want to be talking about it. But it is what's going on. So, what what's your opinion? Like, how long do you think this is, is really gonna last? Um, I really feel like, I feel like it's it's gonna last throughout the summer, maybe through throughout the rest of the year. Honestly. Yeah, bro. Yeah, me too. I I feel like it's gonna be between like August and October. Yeah, no later than December. But it's gonna be a while, bro. Especially because us as Americans, bro, we're like hard headed. We don't give a fuck. Yeah, like I'm I'm that guy. Like, I'm the guy that's like going to the beach. Like you know, I'm the guy that's going out to the springs. Like not with a lot of people. I'm not gonna lie, bro. But, I was that guy, but it's getting more serious for me now, bro. Like it's like. When you start looking at the numbers and shit, it's pretty crazy. There's a lot of people getting it, a lot of people dying, healthy people dying. Like, that was one of the things that, you know, people would say before. It's like, I yeah. would even say it. Where I, it was like, oh, you know, it's only older people. Yeah. Nah, bro. No, nah, I thought Young it was like that. Too. But then I have, like, friends and stuff like that and homegirls that work in the, the hospitals. And they're like, it's not only old people, you know. It's, it's Babies are ba getting it. Little kids. Yeah. Teenagers. Tw people in their 20s like it doesn't matter like everybody's catching this shit yeah, so you got to be careful bro you just got to be careful you know and stay doing what you were supposed to be doing in the first place wash your fucking hands you yeah, felt yeah, the yeah. animals like who the fuck doesn't wash their hands when i take a piss i always wash my hands bro i always do you got to when i take a shit i always wash my hands you, know you got mean? to like bro. you just got to that's just what it is Fucking Even before you go to eat something, if you're gonna eat with your hands, bro, like a burger or some shit, bro, wash your hands real quick. You don't know yo, what the fuck. Like cut, cut your nails, you know. Yeah, like, like keep like, your shit fucking clean, bro. Just regular hygiene. Yeah, just what, like just normal, just common sense, just like you know, just normal, normal shit that you're supposed to be doing, but people just don't do it. And eat right, bro. That's pretty much like overall. That's that's really what what we need to be doing is like strengthening our immune system. Because regardless of what, 
that's that's the main thing that all these people that are passing away have in common is the immune system. Mm. Regardless whether it was one, like it was they were born like that or it, it became like that over time, it was their immune system that eventually got to them. So, and shout out to anybody, our <laughs> condolences go out to anybody, you know, if if you guys know somebody personally in your family or friends, bless you, bro. Corona. That um that passed away from corona though. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. Cuz there's a lot of people passing away from that shit, so, you know. That's crazy, man. Somebody might know somebody that that passed away from it. Yeah. But, maybe maybe a grandparent, maybe a fucking anybody. It could have been anybody, you know, and um I'm sorry to hear that. You know that that shit sucks. We don't, you know, it's not it's not an easy thing to to swallow, you know what I mean? Fucking people dying and shit. I ain't good with that shit. Especially something that's like crazy like this cuz you can't fight it. You can't see it. Nah. It's yeah. not like a fucking burglar that's like, you know, trying to run up on you and do harm. Like, that you could shoot that shit down. Yeah. This is something you can't see. At all. It's like, kind of like, it could be anywhere. It could be anywhere and you don't fucking know it. Yeah. And I that's was, some movie shit. Yeah, bro. I was nervous. I went on a fucking plane. Like, bro. recently. Like, a month and a half ago. I was nervous, man, because motherfuckers were coughing and shit. But you know what? Bro, talking about that, like, the changes started happening then. Like, yes. I want to talk about, like, the changes that you've seen. Because I remember when you went over there, you told me that, like, there was nobody in the airport, really. Yeah. It was like, you could have shown up 10 minutes before the flight yeah. was supposed to take off, and you would have been straight. Yeah, I literally, like, I was running a little bit late and scheduled. And when I went, it wasn't when I was going to to uh, to Orlando. It was when I was uh, coming back. I was late a little bit. And I was running behind. So uh, when I went to the airport, man, I was like, fuck, running in there. I didn't see anybody in there. I was like, man, like, nobody. Like, it was empty. I walked through TSA quick, 15 minutes, tops. Got there, and I still had to wait, like, another hour, maybe mm. two. Just not, it was like an hour. Bro, the changes are crazy. Like, everything shut down. Barber shops are shut down, so shout out to Kenny. You know what I'm saying? For getting better and for hooking us up with the cuts in this time. Not for um, real. But yeah, it's crazy. Like the changes at first it was subtle, but now it's like, bro, every like restaurants aren't letting people inside. It's takeout only your drive through. You know what I'm saying? You go to Walmart or you go to you go to like public certain stores, bro, it's like weird the way they got it set up. Like in Publix you gotta follow these like footprints that they have for you now. Or it's like it's like one way around the whole store. Like, there's, like, you can't just, like, walk anywhere you want anymore. Like, it's weird, bro. It's getting weird. I feel like it has something to do with maybe, like, what if they're just trying to find somebody? They're trying to find somebody. Mean? Find somebody, like, somebody that's on the run? Yeah, like, like they have face recognition, right? And they, they're not able to, what if the, the face recognition is not able to actually find, like, take the full, uh, face of the person if it's just moving and there's too many people close to each other maybe it won't work maybe, i don't know maybe I don't know. man and they need a separated apart in line to see like to find this person who mm. knows maybe it's a manhunt that sounds crazy right yeah but nah i don't know my conspiracy theories are way way more crazy than that yeah <laughs> But it could be, you know. It could it, be that, You bro. never know. You never know, anything. man. It, it could, could be, be anything, you know, bro. But yes, but yes, people are dying. Yes, we know that. People are fucking Yeah, dying. people are passing away and shit. Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, it's like, yo, like, this is crazy. Whoever survives this, we're going to be talking about this shit in, you know what I'm saying, 20, 30 years. Like, holy fuck. That was a crazy time. It was. This is a crazy time in history, It's bro. a crazy time to be alive right now. I, I feel it, like. This is like. And we're and we're Historical. 90s. We're nineties babies. So like I feel like the 90, 90s were like the best the best years. Like I feel like nineties I, I feel like nineties were really solid. They were, bro. Like when it came to music, when it came to everybody shows, like, movies, getting along. Everything. Like I don't I don't I don't I feel like it was less racial stuff going on mm, in the nineties. I wanna say that. I actually, I disagree with that. I feel like it's backwards. I feel like we're getting better with that. You think we're getting better? Absolutely, bro. I feel like we're getting better each generation. There's still racism out there. Yeah. You know it's what? It's always going to yeah, be makes, out there. That does make sense. But think about it. It's like the 50s was bad, bad with racism. Like segregation, all that shit. 
You know what I mean? I just, and then I they just had don't their, remember they that had being... their movements and shit, and then it got better. Yeah. And then like, but as time goes on, it gets better. Like people start to notice that it's like we're all humans, we're all people. Like why the fuck do we got to sit here and treat each other differently and treat each yeah. other like, oh, like you're a piece of shit because you're, you know, you know, you don't look like me or you don't talk like me or whatever it is. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of wild. That's wild. Um, so yeah, guys, fuck racism. Yeah, fuck racism. Real you shit. know what I mean? Even though I feel like everybody is, but in their own ways, but it is what it is. I mean, it's diff- There's a difference between being racist and being prejudiced. And being Everybody's prejudiced. prejudiced. Yeah, that's, like you yeah. prejudge people. Yeah, you pre-judge. based off of what you're taught and what you see around you and what. Yeah. You know whatever, but overall, everybody's not racist. Yeah. Because if you were racist, you would like automatically not like a person just because of the color of their skin or just because of whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's that's racist. Yeah. Like that's racist. prejudice is just like oh, um, it could be anybody. It could, it could be. Oh, anything. they're sagging their pants, so they must be a fucking thug. Yeah. That's prejudice. You're yeah. prejudging. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like there's a big difference with that shit. We're all prejudiced, but I don't think we're all racist, bro. Yeah. There's people out here that really aren't racist. That's true. That's that's a good way of looking at it too. Um, man. But yeah, man, fuck all this sad shit, bro. All this shit got me fucking depressed. Let's talk about how like summer's canceled. How <laughs> summer's canceled and how niggas is mad they couldn't get on those carnival rides. Nah, for real, man. I don't trust anything that comes out of a motherfucking box. Like, okay, for a yeah, ride. Yeah, bitch. So you don't trust your TV? Nah, or I don't your tr- fucking phone. If it comes out of a fucking box, I don't trust it. I don't yeah, know. Fuck it. That's a good way to live, man. I don't know, man. Especially a ride that you're going to sit on and it's going to go ahead and do some flips. Nah, bro. Like I told you earlier, bro. If I could pay $10 and ride every ride in the fucking carnival, I don't want to get on them. Real fucking talk. Nah, for real. Because I don't want to get on They them. start screeching. They start doing some crazy shit. I don't know. I they don't start- even... Bro, I barely trust... like theme park like real theme park fucking roller coasters why the fuck would i get on a carnival roller coaster and think it's gonna be fucking straight like i don't yeah i don't really like roller coasters i I do it i don't do it i do it but it's just something that's like i like it and i hate it at the same time it's like one of those feelings i don't like that shit bro i don't like i don't like that feeling at all i used to when i was a kid man like before honestly it's weird because it i started not liking it when i was like 13 14 but before that, yo, I could get on any roller coaster and be straight. But after that, I was just, I don't know what it was about it. I just stopped, like, I didn't like the feeling of, like, not being in control. If something were to happen, I'm not in control at all. Yeah. Like, in a car or something, that's different. Like, something that you're in control of, it's, it feels different. But when you're on a roller coaster to me, it's like, nah, nigga, you ain't in control of shit. If this derails and flies off, you're gone. See ya. Salute. <laughs> Nah, I heard about that, man. I heard some places. That shit's happened yeah. a couple times, bro. Nah, that's scary to me, man. And, and then, like, who's responsible? I mean, I'd hope the park. <laughs> what if they just dip on you? How do you dip a whole park? <laughs> Bitch, I'm going to sue your whole shit. They put it in the tiny box. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it all goes in a box. <laughs> It all goes put in, a, it in the box and dip. That all, is fucking true. It all goes in a box and the clowns. They give you, they give you a fucking another nigga's fucking business card. Nah, that's fucking, <laughs> nah, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked Yo, up. Yo, there's some grimy people out here though, bro. Nah, man, I don't support. I don't support anything like, like if they train them fucking animals to the max. I don't support that shit, bro. Like. Like, I feel like they beat them, and they torture them, and, you know, like, monkeys and shit in the fucking circus Bro, and all that. Bro, yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not... I don't like that shit. I'm not in support of wild animals being held captive, period. Yeah, I feel like they should just be out in the free. Like, I get it. Like, certain people can't see certain animals because they live in certain parts of the world, but guess what, bro? That's why you travel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that ass. You That's travel. why you fucking travel. That's why you go on a safari. Like... <laughs> yeah, like, facts. Like, you sit in a car and then drive through some wild shit. Don't go catch them and then put them in a fucking cage and then you walk through the cages. Like, that's trash to me. Like, when I was a kid, I used to love the zoo because I love animals. You know, when you're a kid, you're not seeing 
the bigger picture. You just see, you know, it's a tiger. I love tigers. But yeah. when you're older, you're like, bro, this tiger's fucking, like, going crazy. Like, it doesn't even know how to hunt anymore. Yeah, so you know what I'm you, saying? So, like, so it's like sad if the as cir- fuck. If the circus, it has yeah. no fucking mate. Like, if the circus fucking cancels and shit, and you got to let go of that fucking animal, the fuck? That shit ain't going to learn how to fucking hunt. It's not going to survive, but you know what will happen? <laughs> what? The cartel will buy that shit. Probably. Keep it no, in the- probably. They will. You Real fucking so? quick. Hell yeah. These cartel niggas be fucking chilling, bro. They'll buy a they'll buy a lion, and then just like when somebody acts up in the cartel world, guess where that person's going? <laughs> Damn, Real yeah, shit. Ian, just like that fucking Carol Baskin. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I actually watched that show. Jesus Christ, bro. Them people are fucking... They're all insane. I didn't all wa- of them. I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched a couple episodes, and I thought it was really weird. They're all fucking crazy. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> and that's that. That's all I got to say about the whole fucking show. <laughs> damn. The whole... Everybody's crazy in that bitch. Like, nah. God damn. What the fuck are y'all doing? Nah, that's fucking crazy. Dude. But I do like I do like animals, man. So I appreciated, you know... Seeing tigers and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I, I, yeah, I like the outdoors and shit. Fucking man, if I had a boat right now, I'd be fucking fishing. Yo, facts, man. I'll be out Real there right shit. now, just Real fishing. Shit. All man. I need is a truck and a boat, and I'm out. That's it. I just need a truck and a boat too, man. A truck and a boat. You could buy me a boat. You could get me a truck. Pull it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, bro. No, nah, but there's nothing better than having like a nice cold beer, driving a boat, feeling that Florida weather. Driving a boat. <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> you guys know what I meant. But, nah, uh, I feel you though. Yeah. Fucking, you know what I'm saying? On on a boat with a yeah. couple bros, couple yeah. buds. Yeah. Couple fucking brews, couple bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All the bees in that bitch. Damn, <laughs> Damn, Damn bitch. <laughs> you were like bobbing and beaming. God damn. You couldn't speak right, bro? Damn. Uh, they heard what the fuck I said. Nah, tell you that's what. how I felt. <laughs> fuck. Nah. Nah, nah, but for real, bro. For real, for real. Like right now, and that's like the only thing to do, bro. Yeah. If you had a boat and a truck, you're set. You could be out every day, chilling. Vibing in the... Just chilling. Yeah, just chilling. And he, bro, who doesn't like being on a boat? If you don't like being on a boat, we can't be friends. Yo, facts. Seriously. Real shit. Like, if you don't like being on a boat, you're a fucking party. That shit's over. a vibe, bro. Yeah. Like, that shit's a whole vibe. Like, yeah, no, nah, I like boats. I like being on a boat. Yeah, boats is where it's at. Fucking, man, maybe an airboat. I wouldn't mind being an airboat Yo, too. Yo, airboats are badass. They go, haul ass go too. Go to the Everglades and shit. Fucking just chill, slide. You know, yeah, I've never chill been there, bro. We should go there, dog. No, bro. I never been to the. Ever- you been there? Yeah, I've been there once, and it was fucking interesting. It was cool. It, you know, like was, you went on a tour and shit. Yeah, like a little airboat tour. And How shit. was it? It was cool. It was I. I was like, I think I was like twelve years old, thirteen, somewhere around there, and I was fucking out there just chilling. They put the little headphones like this, boom. So it, cause it's loud. You sit nah, on the fast. fucking thing and just fucking, mm-hmm. and the guy's on the top and he's controlling the whole thing and you just sit there and chill. And he showed us like a little tour of like alligators and shit like that. And there was That's a, dope, bro. Yeah, it was cool. It was interesting. I want to go out there, man. You don't want to get lost been... out there. Oh, I won't. You ever see those fucking, the show like Naked Afraid? <laughs> Where <they're laughs> that show's fucking hilarious. They have to have sex. I know they do. Especially, Bro, like there ain't no way <laughs> you're gonna be butt ass naked with a female in the woods for thirty days and not get enough poon. Like <laughs> that shit must be trash if you didn't. If you didn't, you have no game. Bro, there's no way, bro. You have no game, bro. bro no, you game. gotta you gotta make it feel safe first. <laughs> You gotta build the shelf to get the fire going. You know what I'm saying? Set the vibe. You set the vibe. You set the Yo, vibe. catch a couple you know? fish. <laughs> Put that shit to roast over the fire. You know what I'm saying? Get you know, that you shit get in right. The, you get in the ear right you quick. You gotta learn how to fucking clean a fish. 
Yeah, facts. Because you better not throw that whole fish on there. <laughs> yeah, I feel like most niggas would just throw the whole fucking fish on there. You gotta cut that bitch down the middle and cut, Yo, get facts. the guts cut out. Cut that bitch. You know what I mean? Scale that bitch. Yeah. You gotta get that yeah, bitch yeah. nice. <laughs> you, you, know, you can't. You gotta, imagine that's how we have to like pull women. Jesus like, Christ. Like, if it really went like, that bad. How, like, like, that's how you show off? Yeah, that's how you show off. You got to fucking build your... Damn, bro. <laughs> like, you got to start... We all live in woods and shit. Like, you got to build a fort. That's trash. That's hard work. That would be trash. You think this is hard work now? But at the end of the day, if we came to that, I wouldn't do it for no females, nigga. I'm doing it because I need to survive. <laughs> I'm living in a hut and I'm hungry, nigga. I need to catch this fucking they, fish. Then your cousin over there is fucking struggling because fucking... <laughs> Sure, man, left her, you know, and she got three kids. That's not my fucking problem. Damn. You shouldn't have no babies. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Best I can do for you is give you a net so you can catch multiple fish at once. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you can feed no, the whole fish. Nah, bro, your problems ain't my problems. <coughs> we all got them. <coughs> we all got to figure out a way to solve them. Nah, for real. That's a fact. <laughs> Damn. That's a All fact. right, cuz, I love you, but <laughs> <laughs> I got to fucking cut you out. Um, But yeah, man, I don't know. The only thing I'm scared of, like, of being in the wilderness would be a bear. Because if you, you can climb a tree. Bro, gonna bears go up there. are scary. Bro, They're scary. bears are scary. Like, that's, that's the animal I'm most scared of in Florida. Yeah, bears is not a game, bro. After that story that you told me about that guy that you knew, psh, that's yeah, fucking crazy. Yeah, no, no, bro. That's crazy. crazy as fuck. Being attacked by a bear is just being nuts, you know? Yeah. yeah no, that, fact. That's, that, that's, that's And crazy. they could, they'll gallop up a tree. It's not that they climb a tree. Yeah. Nigga. They could run up a tree like 10 miles an hour or some crazy shit. Like, fast as fuck. Nah, I don't. I wouldn't want to fuck around with that. I'm not fucking around. That's a scary ass animal, you and they're strong as shit. Like anything that's on the ground, I think I'll be able to handle. I can manhandle. I'll probably fucking beat him up. I'll probably, I'll probably Bro. just grab him by the tusk and rip his fucking head open. What do you, what, what are you talking about like, now? Maybe like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe like a pig or some shit. Like I don't know. A wild boar. A boar, man. A wild boar. Will- Fuck you up. <laughs> nah, I'll fuck you nah, damn Nah, that bitch of a Pumba will fuck I'll, you I'll, up. I'll pistol whip the shit out of him. I, ho- I hope you do more than pistol whip him with that pistol because you're going to be fucked nah, if probably, you don't. Nah. All right. He'll be the first fucking dumbass <laughs> of the year to get killed by a boar during coronavirus. Damn. <laughs> I'll make some bacon, bro. I'm taking, bro. I'm coming home with bacon. Man. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. Shake and bake, Ricky. I'm Bobby. a wild motherfucker. I'm from Florida. Don't nah, try me. Nah, facts. We'll catch that we'll bitch catch real it. quick. I'll, bro, I'll grab him by the arms. You grab him by the short legs. I'll put him up, upside down. I'll tell you what. I get a couple fucking hunting dogs. Goddamn. Corner that motherfucker. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Goddamn. <laughs> That's a horrible way to die, hey. being mauled by dogs. Hey, corner that motherfucker, bro. Nah. Nah. And let them do what they do. I've seen some shit, man, out here. I've seen some shit. So imagine, bro, just living like that. I couldn't I, I couldn't believe it. Like imagine just living out in the fucking forest and fucking this is that's how you surviving. You really I hunting. mean, that's how we used to do it. I know, but you know what? But I, it's so trash. Now I feel you it's, like it's it's kind of trash. No, it's super trash. Like you can't go. You to gotta the... get up at fucking three in the morning to go climb a fucking mountain to sit there for twelve <laughs> hours to shoot a deer to ke- <laughs> gut that bitch, carry that bitch back down the mountain. It takes like two days just to come back home with food. That's and funny. that's only one fucking thing you got. It's just and deer don't meat. forget about the people that live up north and they during the spring and summertime when they hunting they gotta prepare for the fucking winter. So imagine fucking I... winter. That's crazy. I can't deal with no. Yeah, you gotta kill like two deer. You gotta kill like, you gotta make sure you eat in the whole summer because if you run out of food in the middle, (laughs) if you run out of food, bro, and your family's starving, and there's a fucking blizzard blowing outside with no animals to kill, what are you gonna do? Hey, bro. (laughs) You might as well lay it down. You might as well lay it down. <laughs> lay it down and say your prayers, dog. For real? Real shit. You're going to starve. Yeah, it's going to be a whole three months before you can kill a goddamn thing. That's crazy. Everything is hibernating. That's wild. Nah. What are you going to do, man? What are you going to fucking do, right? Bro, 
That's life, man. I saw a show about that, and it it made, it made me change my perspective on like living and shit. Like, but we, honestly, you know, bro, we like, should learn different skills like that. We yeah. should learn how to survive. Like really and, survive. Like really survive. Like like, that ass, like take afraid, classes. But, yeah. Like learn how to really survive in certain certain scenarios, just in case. You never know. You never know if you're gonna need it. And, but, you and, you thinking you're going on a fucking plane ride to fucking uh, PR? Guess what? Boom! You fucking crash. You're stuck on an island in the middle of fucking who knows where. Now you're fucked. That's trash. And I seen. A, isn't there a movie about that? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I swear there's a movie about that. There probably is, though. Or a book or something I read in school. But, yeah, it was crazy. And maybe not to PR, because PR is right there. But you know what I mean. Yeah, like, somewhere maybe far. Maybe in the, the triangle, you know? Yeah, some, like, some, somewhere, you, you know go know somewhere, I mean? you like, fucking crash. There's plenty of, of those stories on I Shouldn't Be Alive. That uh, That's another show where it's like, some niggas are like, bro. Nah. Like, you put yourself here. Yeah. Like. Nah. You're a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> Like, for real, for real. like, why didn't you do what you were supposed to do? Facts. Like, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, that's just all turn you around. had to do, dog. Just turn around. Real shit. Turn <laughs> around. But it's all good. It's all good. It man. is what it is, man. But yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us. We appreciate everybody that's liking, subscribing, all that good shit, man. Press the red button. Press the red button. Hit the thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Go down in the comments and let us know if you're rocking with what we're doing, man. We appreciate everybody. It's been yours truly, low-key. John, we out. We out.